it's Grace and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do things that I've been loving during quarantine. Um, I I used to do like monthly favorites before, cause so I don't know. I've just been kind of grouping them together and kind of explaining more about it. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys certain things that I've been loving during quarantine because I did revisit a few favorites that I used to love like months before and I don't know definitely things changed and my routine changed mm -hmm. things I've been loving changed so I just wanted to share it with you guys so this is going to be like a mixture of things like beauty items um, things that I've been doing in my past time things that I've been watching and yeah but before we get into the video I just want to ask how are you how are you guys doing I hope you guys are okay mentally physically emotionally I know this this whole thing it's like a new it's definitely a new normal it's so different from how our lives have been like just a few months ago so I hope you guys are okay I hope you guys are doing well I know it's so hard to not like see your friends see maybe some of your relatives your parents your brothers or siblings but I hope you guys are staying safe so yeah so uunahin ko ang skincare because there are a few things that I did run out of. I did place a few orders online for my skincare lately ko lang ginawa yun because I haven't been ordering on line not unless kailang kailangan talaga like groceries um, medicines so i'm gonna start off with my moisturizer because my favorite moisturizer is the Tooth house moist for collagen cream kapag wala yun, i use the um, watson's brand na collagen cream but during the time they didn't have it i was running out so i thought i did buy it from beauty mnl i didn't expect it to be this small but it is quite inexpensive this is like 400 plus pesos this is the elisa Vecca hyaluronic acid water drop cream yeah it's very very moisturizing to the point na kasi it's like a water drop cream so i thought it won't be as moisturizing so when i first like use this as in medyo madami yung nagamit ko actually medyo pa hati na nga to. it just looks like that and it's so nice and when i woke up the next day my face feels plump it looks plump, it feels very very smooth and soft, so I really really like this. Yon, next would be lip balm. <laughs> my ganun. But yeah, my favorite lip balm is the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. Like, super super love ko. Nothing beats that still, but I feel like this one is coming to a very very close second. So this is the, although they're both expensive, the reason why I bought this lang kasi on sale siya. This is the NUX. Looks like this. NUX um, Rev de Miel. Is that right? Rev de Miel. Um, I don't know. Honey Lip Balm. Ultra Nourishing and Repairing. Now, it looks like this. This one is originally 800 pesos. Alam ko, mahal siya. Best mahal. Or, but I did get this for like 500 or 400 pesos. So, medyo mahal pa rin siya. Now, this one, medyo iba yung texture niya. It looks like this, by the way. And it smells like honey and citrus. It smells really, really good. So it's a very, I don't know, it's petroleum-free in a lip balm. It's not the usual glossy lip balm. It's like a hardened lip balm. So no una ko ginagamit, I wasn't really sure kung may nalalagay sa lips ko because it's not the typical lip balm na I'm used to. So hindi siya glossy. I don't know, it's also not balmy. It's, it's a dried-up lip balm. Para hindi very, para hindi masyado appealing yun, no, guys. But it's like that. But it took a while for me. And plus, it's matte. It's a matte looking lip balm. But after using it a couple of times, don't ko lang siya na appreciate because the next day, guys, so moisturize pa rin yung lips ko and it looks, I don't, I don't know, very plump. And kung ano man yung peeling sa lips ko, nahi-heal niya. Although I feel like the Laneige one heals my lips a little bit better. But this one, I mean, still heals them. And plus, during the times na lumalabas ako, because I do do relief operations with my brother. So, syempre yung kalahati ng mukha ko hindi naman nakikita. So, I just use this one in a tinted lip balm. 
And even if, like, hindi ako nag -re apply ng lip balm, my lips still feel very, very moisturized. And also, guys, my time na gumising lang ako, I had to really wake up really, really early. And hindi na ako nakapag-apply ng lip balm. Kasi nag-straight to lip tint lang ako para mukha kong hindi patay. And even if, like, I applied my lip tint around 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning, Mga 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock na ng hapon, my lips still didn't feel dry. So, next would be another lip balm. That would be the Sun Glow by Fresh Tinted Lip Screen. This one is in the shade Sun Kissed. This one is so nice and I never owned a tinted lip screen. And if you struggle with hyperpigmentation sa lips, not unless you're like born with it, like yung gilid ng lips nyo, I have that and I've always been insecure of that growing up. Um, actually, and ever since I started the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, mas even yung itsura ng lips ko. But, of course, it's still there, the outer darker layer of my lips, which I don't really like. But I learned to, like, just accept it. <laughs> Pero this one, the tinted lip screen. So, you actually need lip screen or sunscreen on your lips if you struggle with that. So, I really, really love this. It's not sticky and it's not the feeling na lip balmy siya. It feels like nothing on the lips but still moisturizing your lips. In this particular shade, sobrang ganda niya, guys. And I can use it on its own. And I just love this. I use this in the mornings pagkagising ko after like doing my skincare. I don't know if you guys would see it. But that is sun -kissed. It just enhances your lips so naturally. And I just love this. If you haven't tried this, highly, highly recommend it. So... Next would be this one. I feel like everyone talks about this. And I actually got this for myself during Christmas because I would not like splurge on this on a regular day. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Super bound ito, guys. Hmm, what does it smell like? It smells like a childhood candy or gum or anything that I used to eat before. Um, this is the original one, the first shade they got or like released, which is Fenty Glow. And same with this one. They kind of have the same um, uh, color. This one is just a little bit lighter and this one has shimmers and this one appears more glossy. Boom, boom, pow! Ang ganda! And it's not sticky. So, here. Next would be the Lux Organics Power Glow Serum. I actually did a short like intro to this during my Watson's recommendations but I actually use this in the morning before I apply my sunscreen and moisturizer so I've been paying more attention to my skincare in the morning because mas may time ako ngayon so yeah this one I use it and I feel like it's one of those um, vitamin C products that actually really really works like I used to have like dark spots lalo dito when I started breaking out like maybe a month ago ngayon hindi na siya ganon kakita kakita hindi na siya ganon hindi mo na siya masyado mapapansin so I feel like this is working and I want to introduce it to you again guys mainly because this is one of the few um, vitamin C serums na easy to get Watson Sha and this is only like what 449 pesos from what I remember 480 so very very affordable the only thing I don't like about this it does have that sticky texture that's my amoy sha it's like citrusy pero na amoy ko siya throughout the day so I'm not sure kung gano yun kung comfortable sa inyo guys but that's the only thing I don't like about it sticky sha tas yung amoy niya it lingers so yon and the thing that I love about this one it's not a vitamin C that's a derived vitamin C. Yung second ingredient niya is actually ascorbic acid, which is the highest form of vitamin C. So if ever you're gonna use this, guys, I highly recommend you use sunscreen afterwards. So, yeah. So I did finally caved in and bought the Lux Organics Aqua Daily Sunscreen. It looks like this. This one is with aloe vera, centella asiatica, calendula extract. But yeah, so ganito yung shura niya guys. This is with SPF 50 and it's very very light on the face. It's not sticky and stuff like that. So I highly recommend it. I feel like it's a good um, replacement for this one. It has an SPF 50, cruelty free, lightweight, non-greasy, and no white cast, which is absolutely true. So I haven't been wearing makeup. And if ever, like usually sa mga meetings, itong dalawang to, it actually tatlo, itong tatlong to, yun lang yung sinusuot ko kapag nagbe-video call ako or I have a meeting or sometimes I don't really wear, I don't wear anything when I like, I'm video called. The first one is 
the EB Advance All Clear Mascara. So I'm not really sure how well this will work for those na very very sparse ang kinilang kilayski. But my my um my eyebrow hairs definitely grew. And I'm trying to maintain it. But yeah, this one. Ito lang ginagamit ko actually guys. I don't fill it in. And I just like set my brows with this one. And it makes them look, I don't know, more groomed. But without being overly filled in. So it looks okay. I don't know. I've been loving how my brows look. Except this brow. Mas sparse to compare dito. If like it yung brows ko hindi ganong kasparse dito, actually, I can do it every single day. So, it really, I don't know, it really holds your brows into place. It's not just a clear brow gel that that's just clear. It's basically like a gel for your brows and I love it. Next would be lip tints. Hello. This is the Everbalena Lip and Cheek Roller. Oh my goodness! Na-reunite ako sa kanya. Actually, before even quarantine, um, Ito na yung ginagamit ko kapag ma mabilisan. Kasi guys, honestly, this is so easy to reapply. As in, kahit hindi ka tumingin. As in, ganyan-ganyan ka lang. Mamamamamar. Tapos, mamamamamar. Tapos, mabiblend na siya. It's, it's not the most friendly na lip tint. Kasi, nagsiset siya. But it still gives you enough time to kind of, you know, blend it out. So, plus ito guys, super long-lasting tong lip roller na to. Itong lip tint na to. I think this is my most used lip Tint. As in, hanggang nandito na siya, guys. And this one is in the shade Toast of New York. Absolutely love this. Next would be the BLK Universal Tint Duo. Um, I've been using the water side one. This one is in the Duo... Uh, ano nga ito? Nutmeg. And the reason why I love this, it's like my lips but better. Honestly. I wish they release a shade like this. As in, yung ito lang. Bibilin at bibilin ko siya, guys. Uh, and it's just, it's so natural looking. So Okay, next. Now, if ever lalabas ako ng bahay, and yeah, so usually I just do my skincare, put on mascara, brows, and lip tint. I don't do much anymore. Pero I do want something that will set my skincare and kind of even out my skin a little bit. So this one is a product na hindi ko siya nagustuhan before. And that is the Detail Makeover Mineral Pressed Powder. I have it in the shade Natural. The reason why I didn't like this, I don't like it while setting my makeup. Like, hindi yun yung gamit ko today. I actually used the Nishido Final Powder, which is a really, really good loose powder. This one won't provide coverage. It will mainly mattify your skin and kind of even it out a little bit. And minsan, yun lang talaga ang gusto ko sa life. <laughs> or minsan, I actually just use baby powder. Talaga may SM store. Baby powder, but this one is not talc free. I use the Bello Baby one, talc free powder siya, but kasi iba yung texture nun. It's not it's, it's not as smooth and kind of medyo na siya in certain parts. So I optioned for this one. So ito lang mainly ginagamit ko sa mukha ko kapag lalabas ako. Pero yeah, I like this on its own basically. Yun lang, yun lang yung sinasabi ko. And if I'm gonna use this, I actually use the sponge that came with it. Kasi mas kumakapit siya sa skin instead of using it with a like a fluffy brush okay body wise um since it is summer and i hate wearing lotion but i have really dry arms and legs especially my legs so what i've been telling my friends and everyone what i do is actually i use baby oil i have lots of uses for baby oil one of them is while my skin is still damp i like to apply oil and then i wipe it off with a towel and honestly guys your skin will feel really really smooth without that sticky and i don't know kapag nagli lotion ako minsan mas pinapawisan ako and i don't like it slipping and sliding off my skin so yon ito yung ginagamit ko so i really really love this plus if ever you struggle with removing waterproof makeup gamit ko lang baby oil with a little bit of micellar water. So, yun. The Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. Nabili ko to sa SNR, I think. So, kapag vanilla scents ang gagamitin ko, I actually use this because it complements each other. So, you don't... I mean, it's roughly the same effect ng oil in this one. It's just this one my scent and... I don't know. Feeling ko do mas tumatagal ang moisture nito compared sa oil. Mas mat, mas ma, mas kumakapit to sa skin. So, yun. Since quarantine naman tayo, but I love smelling good. Kahit wala na mga amoy sa akin except nanay ko tsaka kapatid ko. But I like smelling good. So, this is the Lips um, French Vanilla Clone. 
It smells so good. But yeah, it's the type of vanilla na hindi siya obnoxious. Hindi siya masyadong matamis sa, sa ilong or hindi siya sickening. Kasi may ibang vanilla scents na sobrang nakaka-overpower ng senses. Hindi na siya, natu hindi na siya nakakatuwa. So this one, it's like, it's, it's vanilla-y, pero may pagka-musky pa rin sa kanya. So, I think that's it. Okay, when it comes to food, honestly, I've been eating really, really well during quarantine, even before quarantine. Um, all I really eat is like veggies, fish, chicken. So I've been very, very good with my diet. I don't really snack. I'm not a snacker, but I am or I eat this ramen instant noodle that I've actually been really loving. So, minsan kapag nagki-crave talaga ako, ito lang yung bad sa diet ko. Wow, ito lang, char. This one. This is the Nong Shin Veggie Ramen Noodle Soup. So, ganito yung chura niya, guys. And I love it. It's, um, maanghang siya, pero hindi siya ganun kaanghang. So, I feel like, perfect siya para sa mga taong hindi naman mahilig sa maanghang, pero we want a little bit of anghang. Or like, I, cause I really like jampong, I like kimchi noodles, and stuff like that. This one is just the right kick. And hindi siya ganon ka salty compared to other um, instant noodles that like we have, like Lucky Me, ganon. And I like the um, the noodles, it's almost like a flat noodle, so medyo mas flat noodles siya. So mas makapal yung noodles niya, it's a little bit softer, medyo may pagka gourmet yung noodles niya compared to usual Lucky Me. So... Gusto gusto ko to. And I don't feel... Hindi ako masyadong betchanized when I eat it. So, hindi ako nahihilo after. Because usually, when I eat other instant noodles, grabe yung betchin, guys. Kasi grabe yung migraine ko. But, yun. Next would be, um, I love eating spicy. And I love anything spicy. So, I love chili flakes. I put chili flakes on my soup, on my rice, on my um, ulam. Or, yeah, yung Kirkland na chili flakes, isa din yun, I put it everywhere. The other one is sriracha. Because I recently reunited with sriracha. I don't know, namiss ko lang yung lasa niya. Though, may time na medyo siniracha ko ata lahat ng ulam ko, medyo nahilo ko. Pero, yeah, sriracha. Last thing I've been enjoying during quarantine, and that is wine. <laughs> I mean, I've always loved wine. Ngayon ko lang na-realize ng quarantine kung gano ko siya kagusto. I mean, I eat, I, I eat, I drink both white and red, but I realize I like red more than white. Yeah, red wine, as in I love red wine. Um, yeah, so this one is the yellowtail one. This is the Shiraz. Shiraz, is that how you pronounce it? From all the red wines, I find myself loving Shiraz. Although, may isa akong red wine na ininom, Kaso tinapon nila agad yung bote. Hindi ko man lang na picture and hindi ko natandaan ko anong brand yon Pero sobrang smooth niya, guys. Oh my goodness! Ang sarap! But yun, ito. This is the yellowtail one. Yan, ubas na siya, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy I actually bought this before quarantine. I think mga two weeks before quarantine started, dun ko lang siya binili. Because I've been wanting to buy this. I've been wanting and saving up for it. And here it is my own Nintendo Switch. So I freaking love this. Yeah, I've been playing Animal Crossing and also Mario Kart. As in swear, my brother and I always play Mario Kart after a long day. And sometimes I love going online because I'm so brutal na mga nagre race doon na test yung aking skulls. So, yun, Nintendo Switch. And I know, like, nakakatawa kasi, like, ever since quarantine happened, lahat, as in halos lahat, naghahanap ng Nintendo Switch and the Animal Crossing. So, ito, ito. ito. The shows that I've been loving during quarantine. Um, the first one is The Crown. Sobrang. Love ko yung The Crown. I know it's not yet finished. I know I've... They only have season 3... Up to season 3. May season 4 pa. Kasi feeling ko it, it ended so abruptly. The Crown. I've been loving. Crash Landing on You! Ayan. Isa pa yun. Isa, ano pa? Um, uh, Hi by Mama. I've been loving that as well. And also, the other one is... Uh, explained. It's like um, It's like a documentary series. Na, it just explains a bunch of things. And it's nice. I like things. I like knowing how things are made. So I've been loving a lot of documentaries. The other one is History 101. 
if you love like history and documentaries as well so yeah those are the things that i've been loving during quarantine feeling ko napakahaba na itong video na to but yeah hope you guys like this video um please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video